Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and welcome to the 30th video in a series of game development tutorials on how to make your own Resident Evil style game in Unity. In this tutorial we'll be focusing on being able to collect our weapon rather than start with it. Remember to subscribe, click the notification bell to stay up to date with every tutorial I upload. Feel free to leave a comment and drop a like. I also have a Patreon page where you can help be a part of this channel and you'll also find all the scripts and the assets to this series there too along with plenty of other things. You can also now join as a free member. Now, on with the tutorial. So, as you know at this point, we have the ability to start with our gun, and we hold down the right mouse button to aim and then left click to fire. We need to stop that as soon as we start the game, so we don't need to have that ability. Just around this corner, if you remember, we placed our gun, and we also had a glowing little thing to indicate that there was something there. And the idea of what we're going to do here is we're going to be able to not start with our gun, head over there, press the E key, and then the gun ends up in our hand. I know there's other mechanics to go, that goes in between that, but there's things we need to learn before we can get to that. We just need the basic essentials of being able to pick up a gun and then fire it. So let's start by getting rid of the gun. So let's zoom into our player. Let's click on the gun. And remember, it is this M9 object. And then untick. Now that just doesn't take away the gun, it actually lets us fire without a gun. So if you press play now and then try firing a gun, he will be firing without a gun. So the next thing to do would be to remove the ability to fire. And that is in area control. So if we go to area control now and turn off the weapon mechanic script, so untick that and let's press play. And just make sure that this is now set up correctly. We should not be able to fire our gun. So mouse buttons do nothing, but we can still walk around. And you notice there is no gun in our hand. Now the way we can do this is very similar to how we had the door operation. So remember when we walk up to a door we press the E key and we can go through. So we're going to use a very very similar um, kind of mechanic to pick up this weapon. So firstly what we'll do is let's go to our door and if I can remember the control for the door. Let's see which object was it? Joe I can't remember now. I really can't remember. Oh, we've got the camera ones, haven't we? Same with the camera. I guess it's the same mechanics as the cameras. Um, I can't remember what object it was. Never mind. Let's uh, let's just create a new one. So let's go to game object. Let's go to 3D object. Let's go to cube. And let's place the cube in the correct area, which is just here. So we need to be able to be basically within this section here. And that has decided it's going to open up for the zombie enemy. Um, let's now, oh, there it is, door trigger. It was right there. So, like I said, we're going to use the same mechanics as this, so you can kind of replicate how the door works in this instance. So, with the door trigger, remember, it is ticked is trigger, so let's have is trigger ticked there. And let's rename this cube to gun pick up. Uh, let's make it a little bit bigger as well, just so as we can kind of encompass our player a little bit more, so we can kind of approach the gun from a couple of different angles. Let's have the scale as two and probably two there. Let's bring that out just a tiny bit to make sure it is in front of our gun and it is and then untick the mesh renderer. So now it is just a trigger object. Next thing we need to do is create a script and that script is going to basically say, yeah, here's the gun. So let's go to our scripts folder and if we go to doors, and what I'm firstly going to do is rather than create a new script, I'm actually going to go into a 01 door. So I'm going to go into this script because, like I said, it uses the same mechanics. And rather than have to retype out a bunch of new code, we can just kind of reuse the code. So what I want to do is imagine if this was the, oh, yes, thank you, Visual Studio. This was the script to pick up your gun instead of going to another room. So you can use this bit here to say, well, what happens when you are in uh, this area, this collider? Well, rather than call it uh, can transfer, we can call it can pick up. And rather than have, um, you know, the E key, you could use a different one. But rather than have all of this go on, have the coroutine, then you just pick up a gun. So what we're going to do is keep the script open and let's go back into Unity. Let's go into um, area placements. Um, is this really an area placement? Yeah, do you know what? we'll use it as an area placement. So right click, uh, create a new script. And we'll call this uh, A02 
um, gun, pick up, and open that script up in Visual Studio. And like I said, a lot of coding can just kind of be copy and pasted here. So let's get rid of the void update, void start, and let's get rid of the annotations. We don't need them. And let's go back on to a zero one door. Now, firstly, what we will do is we will declare a couple of variables before we copy anything here. So let's think of the variables we're going to need here. We need to have the gun in our hand. We need the gun that is on the table and we need the flashing light that is also on the table. And we also need the script that we turned off. So four variables. So let's start by saying serialize field. And we'll have this as um, game object. And then we'll have this as gun in hand. I, I guess it could be anything, you know, as long as you know what the variable is. Next one, serialize field again. Um, it's automatically thought it's uh, going to be gun out hand, but we don't want that. We want gun on a uh, table. I don't think it's a table actually. I think it's like a crate, isn't it? So serialize field, game object again. And we do need this to be a game object and we'll have this as gun mechanics. And finally, uh, serialize field, it's a game object and we'll have this as gun glow. So they're the uh, four variables that we need, at least for now. We can modify this a little further on if we need to. So what we'll do is we will take um, this void update. Now this is gonna be interesting because when we copy this into here, you'll notice things do a bit strange things, like that's underlined, obviously, because we don't have a bool there that can say, is this true or not? So why don't we use that to our advantage? And like I said, change this to can pick up, and then also change that to can pick up. And let's get rid of the start coroutine right there. And let's add in a new variable. So this one is going to be serialize field and it will be a bool because we want to be true or false. And this is gonna be called can pick up with a semicolon. And now you'll notice they have disappeared. So all that looks fine. So at this point, this is all valid. This is valid code now. We've copied and pasted all this and it's valid. What's happening is that, well, absolutely nothing will happen, but once we set can pick up as true and press the E key, then it will turn this off. So our other things happen in here. So we need to say gun, in hand dot set active true we then need to say gun on table dot set active and false and then we'll say gun glow dot set active also false finally we need to do a little bit of investigation on our gun mechanics so the way we do this is we need to refer to a script within that particular object which is on area control. So area control will be that variable. So we need to get component weapon mechanics and set it as true. So back to the script, we say gun mechanics, if I can spell, <laughs> gun mechanics dot get component in spiky brackets, the name of that script, which I've forgotten what it was already, weapon mechanics. So weapon mechanics, oh, close bracket, dot enabled equals true semicolon so what that will do now is whenever we set the ability to pick it up and press the e key then all of this will happen it'll put the gun in a hand it'll take away the glow uh, it'll take away the gun on the table and it will allow us to fire our weapon so the next thing we need to do here is set the ability to turn can pick up as true so we can do that by copying this little bit here so going back to that A01 door, again, you can see where we're taking the mechanics from here. And paste them just below the update method. And remember, we need to change can transfer to can pick up. Same with this one, can pick up. And the last thing we need to do is copy this as well. So this is the on trigger exit. So that can go just below here. And once again, we need to change that to can pick up and save the script. And as always, if you go to the pinned comment or the link in the description, you can go and download this script for free if you have any problems with it. 
So let's qu uh, quickly go over what uh, is actually happening in this. Because essentially, you know, it might look a little bit confusing because we've kind of copied some stuff and things look a bit strange. Um, so long story short, this is saying this bit right here. Uh, we Can we pick it up? Yes. Okay, we're in the trigger area. Yes, we can. We've left the trigger area, so no, we can't. And if we do press the E key while we're in the trigger area, then we pick up our gun. So let's now set this script into place. Let's add the variables and make sure that it all works. So head back into Unity and our script right there needs to go on our gun pickup object. So drag and drop that onto there. Now let's set our variables. So gun in hand is that M9 object, which is in our player, uh, which is right there. And the M9 is right there. Gun on table. Um, so let me close up our soldier right there. So the gun on the table is this right here. Uh, so that's the particle emitter and that is the gun. Where's it gone? There it is. Okay, so uh, gun pick up again. So that M9 is the gun on the table. Uh, the gun mechanics is going to be area control, which is right there. And the particle system, I believe, is that the one? Or is it that one? No, it's that one. There we go. So that particle system we'll put there. And we'll also rename this to gun glow. Okay, so here we go. I'm not expecting this to fully work for some reason, but it should do because we've got ourselves in here. Uh, and if we keep an eye on this down here, let's see if this works as intended. So let's keep an eye on our script down here and let's turn around. So make sure we can't fire a weapon. No, we can't. So let's head this way. And as we come to here, we should be able to pick up our gun. Oops, have I have walked out of the actual area? Sorry, my bad. <laughs> there we go. So now, there we go. Perfect. So I think what it's kind of all about is making sure that this particular area is relevant to where you were. So I kind of struggled a little bit to figure out where I was stood and whether I could pick up the weapon. So you might want to move this around a little bit, expand it, uh, shrink it, you know, just, just make sure that it's encompassing enough to know where you are as the player. So let's just quickly try that once again. So if I head over here, and head to where the gun is, press E, and there we go. Perfect, picked up. So the idea and premise of that is actually very, very simple. Like I said, I know there's mechanics that come between it, i.e. do you want to pick up this weapon, blah, 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 blah. But in order to kind of do all that, there's things that we'll learn throughout the next couple of tutorials which are vital to put that into place. So what we're going to do now is we're taking a break from this side of the game development world, and we're going to go into a much more UI-focused um, development world. So next tutorial what we're going to do is set up a main menu and splash screen and have everything start flowing together. Uh, remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date with every tutorial and uh, I will see you in the next one.